Hi everybody, I'm going to just do a quick uh, review on the FTSE today and uh, we've just had non-farm payrolls out and um, it's going to bring up a chart of the FTSE right now. Yeah, and um, as you can see, well, first of all let's just go on a one minute and this is the reaction that we had on, um, on the number. Uh, we were trading pre-release 56.24 and then we popped up 20 ticks and then pretty much we've just chopped sideways and now we've gone back down again and um, this is pretty much what I thought was going to happen if we didn't have a real blowout number because um, we had a very strong ADP number and um, and this and non-farm really didn't live up to expectation on the um, what we came up with with the um, ADP number but um, if we look at this on a one minute chart, you can see that we sort of have broken this uptrend that we were in. Um, as you can see this trend line, um, we were bouncing off it and then we sort of broke out of it, hovered along it and now we've sort of broke out quite firmly back to the downside. So if we look on a, a bit of a longer term time horizon, um, if we look at this trend up that we actually had, this is a um, 120, uh, about 70 tick move. Um, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement on it, we actually bounced initially off the off the 38.2. We sort of blasted right through the 50, and now we're sort of tinkering around the 61.8 level, and um, you know the next level down I'll say is 5600 basically, and. Um, and if we look at this, where the move started, 55.87 is basically where we're sort of looking at. Um, if we keep on continuing this read, um, continuing downwards, it's only about 14 ticks away, so we can easily test this level again. Um, this level was held pretty strong yesterday, and um, I think it's going to be a key level to see if we can um, break this or not. If we go a bit um, longer term as well, if we go on a 60 minute chart, as you can see, this, let me just get rid of some of the lines, um, as you can sort of see, this 51, th there is the 55.87 level over there, but after that, 18 ticks lower, 16 ticks lower is this 55.71 level, which is huge. Um, We've bounced off this level or flirted with this level numerous times. In fact, I think we've tested it a good 10, 15 times. And um, if we're going to have any sort of substantial downward retracement from this big move up that we've had, as you can see, um, you know, this 400 tick move up, this is the level we sort of need to break. So 55, 71 and a half is what we're looking at um, in the short term. Also, as you can see, we've formed a nice head and shoulders pattern. Um, this is the head. Um, these, this level over here is the shoulder. So um, we've sort of bounced off these levels quite a bit now. So to complete this pattern of the head and shoulder, because this smaller head and shoulders is actually keeping in line with a bigger head and shoulders that we've actually had, which is this level here, where this is the head this is the shoulder level here. So realistically, the sort of level that I'm looking to get down back to, if we're going to complete this 60 minute head and shoulder, is back down towards 5500, 5492. So that's the sort of um, level that I'll be looking at. And um, just look even longer term, as you can see, we've just been, after this nice trend downwards and we broke it, been trending upwards and we've actually broken out of this upward trend line and we're flirting around here so the next level really is if we keep towards this trend line here and um, we're going to be hitting it and then coming back down again back towards 52.85 but if we if we don't and we get back into it we'll be breaking these sort of very strong resistance level around this level over here 56.50 so um, looking at this my bias would definitely be to the short side but um, you know look out for a break above these levels especially above 56.50 to have a move upwards um, yep so that's that for it today